live at the Sundome on the campus of USF in Tampa, Florida. Jeff DeForest and Charles J. happy to be bringing you Schlitz Malt Liquor Fight Night. Our next matchup will be in the heavyweight division and a very interesting story, as we alluded to at the top of the program, as Jorge Luis Gonzalez steps into the ring. His opponent tonight will be Big Ben Smith. Jorge Luis Gonzalez, the Cuban defector, 5-0 and as a professional Big Ben Smith is not a very distinguished fighter, but uh, he is certainly going to distinguish himself tonight if he can pull off an upset here. We're just about set for the official announcement, introductions of the two fighters as they are making their way into the ring. Your impressions thus far of Jorge Luis Gonzalez, Chuck? He looks like a guy that has tools, is able to put together punches. No question he's got savvy. He knows what to do in the ring. I think in the past, weight may have been a problem with him. And, you know, like we've talked time and time again about up and coming fighters, level of opposition. Can he prove himself against different plateaus in terms of talent of his ap uh, opposition as he continues in his career? Set for the introductions, here's our ring announcer, the inimitable Mark Biro. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is scheduled for six rounds, heavyweights. Your referee is Brian Gary. Introducing first, in the blue corner to my right, weighing in at 242 and a quarter pounds, he is undefeated in five professional bouts with five knockouts, El Hijo de la República de Cuba, now living in Miami, Florida. Black trunks, white trim, weighing 221 pounds, pro record, two wins, four defeats from Pittsburgh, PA, Big Ben Smith. Smith, six rounds, heavyweights. Okay, fellas, we went over the instructions in the locker room before the bout. I want you to obey my commands at all times. When I tell you to break, you break cleanly. Understand? Oh, yeah. Protect yourself at all times. Shake hands and come out boxing at the belt. So. And there's a look at the tail of the tape. It reads like apocalypse now as far as Big Ben Smith goes. Jorge Gonzalez dominating there. 6'6", 242 pounds, an 82-inch reach, which is enormous. There's no question, Gonzalez is one big guy and one tough customer. He's about, I'd say he's about as big as Primo Carnero was when he uh, held the heavyweight championship. They're telling him right, a little bit. Uh, and they're telling him right now to lower his trunks a little bit because that'll be a low, you know, it won't be a low blow if he gets hit on that the black band around his waist. Looks to be a little bit trimmer even though he basically inhaled the buffet at lunch this afternoon following the weigh-in. We did too. <laughs> so, you know. fortunately we were there before Gonzalez. All right, this is round one. Gonzalez, the taller of the two fighters. He wears the red trunks with the black trim. Big Ben Smith in the black trunks with the white stripe. And he comes out fighting like a wild man and he rolls into the cheap seats. He's hanging on for dear life already and he hasn't even been hit, Chuck. And he's Not a good sign. He's having a rather impromptu meeting with the commission. <laughs> I wonder what they're telling him. Well, they're looking over his license right now and <laughs> wiping the sweat off his pants. Let's see. Don't tell me he's claiming to be hurt. He's going to wave it off. Oh. I don't think the fans are going to be too happy with this performance. And the boxing commission, which now has an indelible impression of Big Ben Smith all over their trousers, uh, may not forget what he's done in the ring here tonight in Florida. Well, I, I, you know, I just didn't see a punch. I saw him get tackled, roll over the ropes and out of the ring. And there was something wrong this guy, man. That was it. There were bigger punches, punches, punches thrown in Lewiston, Maine in that Clay Liston fight. Here's another look at it. We'll see if we can find something for you. Looks like Ben Smith needs a seeing eye dog there as he comes in. No, no, no. All right, he corrals him around the neck and throws him through the ring. I mean, Big Ben didn't even get clocked. <laughs> well, he struck out here. Big Ben Smith uh, seems very pleased to pick up a paycheck. Not a knockdown, Brian Gary is telling us. He was thrown out of the ring and he simply quit. Something uh, not quite right with Big Ben Smith tonight. Perhaps the sight of Jorge Gonzalez is enough to shake him up. We have the official announcement of the time of what was a less than interesting performance tonight. 
ladies and gentlemen, the time, a John Unitas, 19 seconds of the first round. The winner by technical knockout and still undefeated, Jorge Gonzalez. Gonzalez. And there's your winner, Jorge Gonzalez. He with an apologetic look for his fans here tonight as he didn't get a chance to really show his talents here. Even Mark Biro getting in on the jokes.